Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. And of course, yes, it is a PS1 game. It's a game which is not my favourite out of the two, but... Has it froze on me? No. Um, but it's a game that I certainly loved and I haven't played or completed for many years now. It, well, you might be able to guess what it is. Of course, it's a PS1 game. A classic game in itself. Yes, it is. Wait for it. Because this is a great game. It's Bugs Bunny and has Time Busters. Now, I will admit this now, and many of you might find me a bit pathetic for doing this, but I've actually been trying. Hey! I've actually been trying to get Rugrats working, but none of the cutscenes work, so I can't actually do it. So we're stuck with Taz Time Busters. Probably, in all favour, maybe the better one of the two, but they're both good games nonetheless. And I'll be starting off with this one, even though this wasn't the first one that came out. Granny time, huh? Poor thing stuck pet. Hello, ma'am. Daffy Duck, better than a shoe, exterminator. I believe you're in need of our A1 Super Duper Pest Removal Services. I'm also in need of a tissue. Oh, please come in, come in. I've been having trouble with this monster for a while now. But this time it's gone too far. I must get rid of it before an accident happens. All right now, sister. If you'll just point me in the direction of this menacing little fellow, I'll take care of him lickety-split. Well, he's quite a devilish little monster. And what with all this machinery around here, I have to be very careful. Now, the last time I saw the little scamp, it was around here somewhere. Eww, no, no, no. It's over here. That horrible creature is over here. Quick. What? Quick, quick. It's up there. Get rid of this horrible beast before it hurts my poor little pets. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm on the case. That's precisely why I am worried. Hold it right there, bub. Gotcha. I'm rich! I'm rich! <gasps> What's this? Someone's already trying to horn in on my riches! Ouch! Hey, what's going on? There's somebody living down here, you know. Hey, uh, excuse me. What's up, Doc? Uh, hello? Can you please tell me... Pardon me, sir, would you be so kind? Did you ever have one of those days when you felt invisible? Excuse me, Doc. Uh, can you help me with this? Hey, stop it! Wait, stop! Hmm, the suspense is killing me. I just gotta know where everybody's going in such a hurry. Well, hello. Don't you look like a nice little bunny rabbit? Would you like to help me? Well, I, uh... Of course you would. Come with me. Listen, lady, I I'd love to help you, but... Well, of course you'd love to help. That's the kind of rabbit you are. Warm, generous, giving. I can't disagree. Now, I had the misfortune to hire an exterminator who turned out to be nothing more than a silly, goofy daffy. Duck. Oh, you know him. Well, anyway, he accidentally broke the time regulator, thereby disrupting time. During the explosion, he was hurled somewhere into another dimension with a time gem. This precious stone is the core of the time regulator. Oh, we must find that duck and recover the time gem. Yes, but... One more thing. We must also collect the precious gears of the time regulator. In the accident, they were scattered everywhere throughout time. The more gears we collect, the more stable the regulator will get. Do you understand? Eh, what's this we business? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say we? Oh, silly me. Whew, that's better. Oh, no, no. Me, 
I can't go. Unfortunately, I must stay here to stabilize the time regulator as best as I can. But don't worry, my precious pet Tasmanian devil will go with you. I think I'd rather go alone. Oh, Granny's going to miss her little Tassie boy. Yes, she is. Oh, brother. <laughs> No, no, no. We mustn't eat the rabbit. Yeah, don't eat the rabbit. Right, so Daffy Duck's got greedy again. As we all know, Daffy Duck, you know he's a greedy little bugger. But welcome to Granwich. And my thing has stopped by that popping up. That probably will happen quite a few times. If it does, I do apologise now. But we need to open up the Aztec era, which is the first era we will be opening. Then the Viking era. Followed by the... Uh, right. What's that era? So we've got the Middle East era. Followed by the last era, which is the Transylvania era. Which is my favourite one, actually. First, we need to collect the gears around this area, just like in time, in Lost in Time. This is a training level. Okay, Mr. Bunny Rabbit, time to go. Your first objective is quite simple. Go get ten gears scattered around here in this area. They are essential to open the Aztec era, your first destination. At this point of the game, help or hints are available. Just locate and touch my little Tweety Bird, and I'll get there immediately to give you a hand. Search and listen carefully. Oh, I almost forgot an essential item. Here, take this. This is a magic mirror. It'll be very useful during your time escapade. The mirror holder controls the camera. It is particularly useful if your friend gets out of your sight or gets too far. You can magically bring him back using the mirror. Watch the mirror icon to know who's holding it. It's also possible to change the camera control by using the swap command. That's it for now. Goodbye. Okay, so this is a very simple kind of like. Let's talk to Tweety here. Taz first has to push these big boxes and lift, drop, and stack the little ones. Ready? Go to work! Here's a trick. Use the camera to look around you. That sometimes helps in cramped locations. Jump on here. Get back on there. Excellent. Well, thank you. Over here! Come over here! 
In the adventure, you'll encounter timed items, like mallets or torches, for example, and most of them can be used by bugs only. You must hurry up when using them, otherwise the item you're holding will disappear. But don't worry, it's not lost, it's just reset. And Taz, try not to eat them up, boy. It's very bad for your stomach. One more for bugs. Now, you have to practice your pitching abilities. Pick up small items and try to throw them on targets or enemies. That could also be very useful to trigger inaccessible switches or mechanisms. Never let Taz touch any of these one-hand objects. His basic instincts tell him to eat them up, and that's bad for his stomach. <laughs> Bullseye! This one is strictly for bugs, because Taz is a little, well, primitive. <laughs> Better luck next time, King Kong. To climb a rope, a pole, or even a tree, <laughs> jump toward it. Once you're clinging to it, you can move up, down, or you can jump to release it. Very, very good. Okay. I think I'm not gonna time this anymore. Big dude. To defeat big guys like this one, you have to wear him out by making him run until he's tired. When he stops, let him have it. Good luck! Oh, brother, how do I get myself into these things? God sake. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Don't worry. When this happens, locate a special delivery box like this and kick it. Go, try it. What was I uh -huh. thinking? Ta-da! <laughs> Great, isn't it? When one of you is out of energy, the other continues the quest alone. To bring back the lost companion, find a special delivery box and break it. When you're both out of energy, you lose a try and must restart from the nearest special delivery box. Okay, we're nearly done with this. Not that much more to go, just a little bit. Yeah, don't try that in the middle of nowhere, it won't work. To get yourself underground, find a rabbit hole and dive into it. When a hole is obstructed, use Taz to dig it open. Unfortunately, because underground traveling is rabbit business, only bugs can do it. Naturally. To get yourself underground... Excellent. Now, you can move in all directions and also bump several objects from below. Just slip under them and jump. Exit rabbit holes the same way. Good luck! One more for bugs only. Eh. Bugs, you must use your ear copter ability to land softly on fragile surfaces as well as your sneak ability to move silently. It will be very useful. Now, reach the pole and climb up it. Then, pick up the gear. Go and, uh, <laughs> oh yes, beware of the dog. Dog? Fuck's sake, bugs! Get up the yeah. fucking pole! For a bath. Thank goodness. <laughs> Just kidding. It requires more than swimming abilities to explore underwater sites. You must also know how to dive. All right, try it now. Jump into the water. Here, 
You must jump and hang on to the ledges. Remember that Bugs jumps higher than Taz, okay? Now, first, get close to the ledge and then jump in its direction. Oh, okay. Excellent! Right, well, we're nearly over in this video, so we haven't got that much more to do. We're just going to do the training, so. So, get on here. So. There it is. Doesn't quite have to do this one. Very simple, and there you go. Job done. Now that you've found all the gears, let's fix the Aztec era. Excellent! Just a couple of things before the adventure begins. Let me introduce you to a series of objects and concepts which appear in the game. I'm all ears, Granny. The time gem is the core of your quest. Without it, the time regulator cannot function properly. You must absolutely retrieve and bring back the gem. I have detected its presence in the Aztec era. After the time gem, the time regulator gears are the most important objects of your adventure. They're used to stabilize the time regulator. To fix the machine, collect the gears and recover the time gem. Simply touch a gear to collect it. It'll magically spin and fly back to Greenwich. These Acme boxes are hidden in each level. Breaking all of them will reveal the regulator gear. Several characters of different errors have been accidentally hurled out of their proper error. You must find them all and return them to their respective world by just touching them. Search carefully, they're sometimes hidden. A clapboard represents a try. When there are no tries left, the game is over. They can be found everywhere along the game. To collect them, just walk over them to add them to the clapboard counter. The carrots are your fuel, your energy. If your energy bar drops, you can increase it with carrots. When your energy bar is full, the carrots are simply collected. In some cases, a certain number of carrots is required to activate objects or access new areas. The boss tokens are keys to open the boss levels. Find all the boss tokens in an era and you'll get access to its era boss location. Here's a very important thing. You can save anywhere in the game. Just go to the pause menu and select the save option. Your progress will be saved, but not your exact position. You can see your progress in the game by using the inventory. This tells you the number of gears or boss tokens you've collected, the number of acme boxes you broke, and the number of lost characters you've returned to their respective worlds. If you need additional help, go to the pause menu and select the help option. You can also consult the game booklet. All the information you need is in there. Okay, that's all for now, folks. You've done a splendid job. I'm very proud of you. It's now time to begin your exciting adventure. Let me show you the way. Now, the Aztec door is opened. Good luck! I'm gonna need more than luck with this guy around. In fact, I think I'm right, gonna need guys, a flea Right guys, well, dip. I'm gonna call that a video. We're gonna save the game. We can't save the game. Okay, well, we'll save state. And that's all for now, guys. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first video, and I will continue this next time. Take care, and bye for now.